You guys remember what to do when Miss Steven comes in, right? Hey, Joey, what happened to your neck? Good morning, Mr. Daniel. She's going to get Good morning, class. Sorry, I'm... Joey, what's going on? Surprise! Happy birthday to you. Oh, thanks, guys. <gasps> Whose idea was this? <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> you know, even though I never had children of my own, you guys make me feel like a mom. And I'm guessing you drew this, too? <laughs> You're so talented. I need to get your autograph now before it gets too expensive. <laughs> Joey, what happened to your neck? Uh, you wouldn't believe it. I couldn't sleep last night, so I went to the kitchen. And on the counter is a jar of my mom's delicious homemade cookies. But when I went to grab one, I came across a field of laser beams. Laser beams? Yeah, like the one of those James Bond movies. To get those cookies, I had to do a series of acrobatic moves. <laughs> it accidentally hit my neck. What? Okay, Joey, you play too much. Let's get back to our seats. And I assume you didn't get that cookie. <laughs> okay, class, let's get started with a paragraph description of last night's reading. You didn't do the reading. I don't have the book. Miss Gibbons, she had to retire for health reasons. It's too bad. Children really loved her. But here we are now. <laughs> and we're so happy to have you with us at the school, Mr. Smiley. <laughs> uh, 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 those uh, um, cookies are uh, for the adults, for the kids. Oh, no, help yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 My name is Mr. Smiley. I'll be your new history teacher. I want everyone to write my name down. It's Mr. Smiley. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on over here? Jo Joey's left handed and I'm right handed, so we keep bumping elbows. Just write with your right hand, Joey. Hey, hey, don't do that with it. Hey, wait, wait. Hey, hey, come here. Oh, 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 hold on, play. Where you going, brother? Yeah, listen, you know pepperoni's my favorite, right? You, you want to throw that away? You want it? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Mm. So I'm talking about? Look, y'all gotta have to get Mr. Smiley by five minutes, maybe six. Eight. What are we supposed to do? You got lunches, don't you? Yeah. Well, eat them. No, I'm about to eat. Here you go. No, that's okay. You already gave me food earlier. You can have some of mine. I am not going to eat all of this, Joey. Hey, hey, what's going on over here? We're giving jo Joey our food? 
Is, is that um, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Chunky regular. Chunky? Oh, no, nah, Joe, no, Joe, you can't be eating everybody else's food, man. You gotta come with your own. For health and educational reasons, I'm gonna have to confiscate this. And a uh, little evidence, sir. I know where the source came from. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Smiley, is it okay if I go to the bathroom? <clears throat> hey, Joey. Eat her at home? Uh, I'm okay, Kim. Thanks. My mom's right there. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Joey, I could not stop laughing while I was reading your essay. You have such a creative mind. Thanks, Miss Stevens. You did such a good job. I'm going to give you this. Is something wrong with my bag? No, the hummingbird. It reminds me of my mom. Oh. Well, take it. It's the least I can do considering you brought me that cupcake and made me that beautiful drawing. That was so kind. Consider it repayment. I can't. My mom told me kindness is always free. So thanks, but I can't accept your payment. Well, consider it a gift then. I insist. Oh, I almost forgot. Tryouts for the school play are tomorrow. I'm directing it, and I think you would make an amazing lead boy Oliver. to switch seats. Oh, I just realized that I left something in the car. I'll be right back. Sonny and Jason and I are going to be playing basketball at your school. You want to join? Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, I can't. I promised my mom would help her with something. Come on, call her and ask her. I'm sure she'll say yes. Uh, I don't have a phone. Then use mine. Hey, Mom, can I go play basketball after school with my friends? I can't. Aww. Let me talk to her. Yeah, or let me. Oh, wait. I can? Thanks, Mom. You're the best. She said yes. Whoa! That's game. This is so fun. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. I play every Thursday after school. You should come. Hey boys, brought you guys lunch. No way. We get pizza? That's my favorite. I told you you should come. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Oh, and can I have a napkin too? Of course. Since I'm your little servant, it's not like I own the place. When that boy gets here. Yeah. Thank you. Oops. 
Where have you been, huh? You were supposed to be here an hour ago. I know. I'm sorry. I went to play basketball with some friends. You expect me to take care of this place by myself while you go out and play? I'm taking this as punishment for a week. If you disobey me again, I'm taking the mattress too. Uh, I, uh, do you think I can have some lunch money for school tomorrow? What? What are you talking about? I gave you seven dollars yesterday. Should be good for the whole week. I spent it on a cupcake and candles for my teacher. Well, that was dumb, wasn't it? I guess you're not going to eat them. Hello? Are you open? Go take care of the customer. Hurry up. And bring back all the dirty dishes. Hey, Joey, look what I brought you. Since you shared your chocolate with me, I want to pay you back. No, it's okay. I mean, I'm giving you a gift. <sighs> all right, you already wasted enough time. Everybody take out your books and turn the page. Um, actually, you know, let, let's push it up today. Who wants to play a game? Oh, awesome, awesome. Meet me outside the class. Come on, I'm gonna set up for you. Yep, right outside class, go ahead. Fun, fun, fun. So we just disappeared? Not just my pizza, my bag and Everything. Does anyone know when we're gonna start? We're still waiting for Miss Stevens. I don't know what's taking Ms. us. Miss Stevens had an emergency. Principal Daniels asked me to fill in. Which one of you kids is auditioning for Olive? Let's start with you. I have been, sir, a poor boy, a very, very poor boy indeed. Without a home, without a friend, without a father, without a mother, without anyone. I've been left in the streets, deserted by those who should have cared for me, and left me lingering death in the dirtiest corner of that horrible place. All right, all right that's enough. Um, before we continue on, I think we should break for lunch. But we just started. Oh, okay, calm down, Othello. Who's in charge here, me or you? <laughs> exactly. Here, I'm gonna some of mine. No, that's okay. You already gave me food earlier. Come on, I'm not gonna eat it all. You forgot your lunch again, Joey? Oh, I, I uh, had some pizza, but somehow it's gone. You can't be eating all these kids' food. I talked about this. You gotta bring your own. I, I did, it just... Come on, Joey, come with me now. And bring them with you. Listen, I don't know what's wrong with you, but I'm sending you home. But, but, but nothing. If you don't have your lunch, you're not auditioning. You understand that? Now beat it. Now give me the sandwich. Why is everyone at lunch already? Hey, where'd you get that? Um, oh, this whole thing right here. Um, Last um, birthday Christmas, my homegirl, uh, she just had knitted something put together. So. Oh, it's interesting. I used to have the same one. Oh, good taste. Awesome, awesome. We enjoy your lunch too. Huh? Um, have you guys seen Joey? He's he's supposed to be auditioning. He was here, but then he left. Why? Does anyone know how to get in touch with him? Don't you have his mom's number in your phone? Oh yeah. Hello? The number you dialed is not a That's number. weird. It's disconnected. Oh. Huh. I wonder why he would have left. Does anyone know? Joey's lunch got taken. And I overheard Mr. Smiley saying Joey can't come back until he has his lunch. He did? 
Why would he say that? I can't believe this. I saw Mr. Smiley taking Joey's lunch. It was in that hummingbird bag. Are you gonna go say something to him? Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna go get Joey first. You guys hang on, okay? And don't even think about eating any food until you clean up this kitchen. You hear me? I didn't know your life was like this. It wasn't always, <laughs> but lately it's gotten a lot worse. <laughs> you see, I never really knew my dad, but it didn't matter because I had my mom. And we were always together, but I had no idea that she was about to get really sick. It happened out of nowhere. I'd sit by her side every day, holding her hand, praying she'd get better. Except she didn't. After my mom passed away, I lost everything. And what I didn't know was things were about to get even worse. My new foster mom, she treats me really bad. She makes me work, doesn't feed me, and does mean things to me all the time. So you see, that's what's going on. Things just got really bad, really fast. Why didn't you say anything to me? I pretend like everything is okay at school because I don't want people to judge me. And um, is your foster, is your foster mom the one that's responsible for your, um? Uh, who are you? I'm Joey's teacher and the person who's gonna take him away from me. Oh, not so fast. You're not going anywhere. Yes, he is. Unless you would like me to call the police and let them know that you're violating child labor laws not to mention countless others. I wonder what the prison sentence is for someone who would do something like that. Come on, honey. Looking for something, uh, Mr. Uh, Smiley? Uh, no, no, uh, drop the contact and one of his kids back. You wouldn't be stealing from a student's backpack, would you? <laughs> stealing Mrs. Smiley's love kids. I was, was coming kids. Is that so? Because Joey told me that his lunch went missing, and it was in the exact hummingbird bag that I gave him. The same bag that I saw you eating lunch out of. We will no longer require your services, Mr. Smiley, as the wonderful Miss Gibbons has returned. We'll be mailing your final check to you for the days you've worked. You're dismissed. All right, well, I might as well just keep these cookies that we have. No! Now get out! You should be eating this many cookies. This is a lot of cookies. No, no, go! <laughs> The nerve. I have been, sir, a poor boy. A very, very poor boy indeed. Without a home, without a friend, without a father, without a mother, without anyone. But even on the darkest of nights, a single star can offer hope. And I believe with all my heart that one day I shall find my guiding light to lead me out of this darkness. How'd I do? Wasn't it obvious by the applause? I can't get this. 
but don't fill up because we still have Thanksgiving dinner after this. Thank you. I owe you big time for everything you've done for me. You don't owe me anything because a wise person once told me that kindness is always free. Gretchen Johnson, we're here to investigate some alleged violations of child abuse. <laughs> 